Amber Heard promised to donate her divorce settlement amount to ACLU and the Children's Hospital. However, it was later revealed that she didn't donate the amount. She showcased that she has donated, but now that seems like a tax fraud scheme as the amount donated by her is not listed on the 990 tax form of the organization. Is Amber solely responsible for tax fraud? How is the ACLU supporting her in her misdeeds? Keep watching to know more. A Reddit content states that Doherty testified during the trial that they received a 350,000 wire transfer from Amber Heard, but that amount is not listed on their 990 tax form, and the donation came from a donor fund, according to Rolling Stone, just like the other amounts donated in her name. On that, a user replied, Another thing I noticed was that Depp's $100,000 donation was not listed among the other gifts credited to Heard. On August 24, 2016, Depp sent a check five days after making a $350,000 donation on August 19, 2016. Heard also chastised Depp for receiving a tax break when her own pledge was set to be tax deductible as well. Another said, Notice in the seventh image how they insist he pay the full amount immediately and not in installments, despite the fact that the vile creature herself claimed she would pay it in installments over time. On that, a user replied saying, Yup, it would have been understandable if a 10-year pledge had been reported at the time, as well as the fact that her divorce settlement will be paid in installments. However, it will not have the same impact as a $7 million donation being linked to her name in the majority of articles that mention her. Another user further added that he simply noted the origin bank and assumed it was from her. As I recall, it came from Elon's bank account. One more user wrote that the $350,000 figure was also relatively unknown until it was published by TMZ in November 2016. Nobody knew how much she gave. Even after the news of Depp's $100,000 donation broke in August 2016. In August 2016, the ACLU acknowledged Heard's donation with a tweet thanks to Amber Heard for generously donating to the ACLU and a blog post. Amber Heard, the actress, announced yesterday that she will donate half of her $7 million divorce settlement to the American Civil Liberties Union to support our work combating violence against women. It specifies that the donation will come from her settlement despite the fact that she has yet to receive it. Another one stated that, I assume the breakdown looked like this, approximate, all in Amber's honor. JD, 100,000, Amber, 350,000, Elon, 500,000. Amber Fund Final 350,000, which I thought they said they're unsure about, can't track down, or suspect is Elon due to some connection to a company of his. I know they received 1.3 total attributed to Amber from various entities toward her pledge and then it ceased. One more said that, who would stand up for her, defend her, or assist her? A narrator who lies obsessively. Another said that she admitted on cross that she had donated zero and that any money that did not come from her did not count toward her donation. According to testimony in the defamation case filed by Heard's ex-husband, Johnny Depp, actress Amber Heard has not fulfilled her pledge to donate $3.5 million to the American Civil Liberties Union. The information provided by an ACLU executive about Heard's donation was quickly interpreted as undermining Heard's credibility with the jury hearing the case in Fairfax County, Virginia. The pledge agreement calls for her to donate the funds over a 10-year period beginning in August 2016. However, she has not made a payment since December 2018, according to Terrence Doherty, Chief Operating Officer and General Counsel of the ACLU in recorded video testimony. We learned that she was having financial difficulties when the ACLU contacted Heard about another installment of her gift in 2019, Doherty added. Heard made the pledge as she divorced Depp, pledging to split $7 million between the ACLU and Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Doherty stated that Heard had been credited with donating $1.3 million in four installments, but not all of the money came from her. $100,000 came from Depp, and another $500,000 came from a Vanguard account linked to Elon Musk, whom Heard dated after her breakup with Depp. Doherty is in charge of the ACLU's finance, legal, and other departments. In his testimony, he was also asked about the ACLU's role in the op-ed that prompted Depp to sue Heard, a 2018 op-ed published by the Washington Post in which Heard advocated for changes in how the United States treats abuse survivors and urged support for the Violence Against Women Act. Doherty described the process that went into crafting the op-ed, which he said was reviewed by lawyers from both the ACLU and Heard's own legal team. 
He described email exchanges about how closely the piece should mention Depp, with Heard's attorneys claiming that naming him would violate the terms of a non-disclosure agreement in her divorce settlement, and the ACLU's lawyers claiming that the piece wouldn't have the same impact if Depp wasn't mentioned. Heard's team and the ACLU went through several rounds of editing on the Post piece. Based on my review of prior drafts of the op-ed, I knew she was referring to Johnny Depp and her marriage, Doherty testified. Doherty also stated that Heard wanted the article to be published around the same time as her 2018 action film Aquaman in order to give publicity to the cause she was advocating for. What do you think about tax fraud done by Amber Heard? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe.